Hey guys, it's Penny here, and today is August 24th, 2015, and it's day 57. So, today I just got done with seeing the surgical consultant to install the port for the chemo to be administered, and then I saw the uh, cardiologist for my echocardiogram. So, those results will be sent over to my oncologist. Um, they're going to schedule me for surgery this week. So we thought it was going to be like a local installation. The port is a local surgery, a local anesthesia where you're out of it, but not deeply sedated. But what they decided to do was they're going to do a more accurate staging. So for my right breast and my lymph node, since the MRI did pick up some activity in my lymph node, it didn't affect the stage, but we want to really be at more accurate in the treatment. So what they're going to do is remove one lymph node, look under the microscope, and depending on if that that tissue sample from the biopsy looks that it shows that it has cancer, then what they'll do is cut out a section of my underarm area for the lymph nodes. They're going to cut them out and remove all the cancer from out of my lymph node, which is a blessing because we know the lymph nodes is the pathway so that the disease can metastasize. Now, the only problem and complexity is scheduling with the OR because the doctor, he participates out of St. Clair's, Marstown, and Newton, and I want to be more in Marstown, as well as I've got to get the PET scan done for Wednesday, and I can't have the PET scan done after the biopsy and the port because then it'll show inflammation that isn't in my body from as a result of uh, trauma from surgery. A little bit shook with the port because there could be some complications where apparently they install it under the clavicle which is your collarbone and they can all there's always a risk of piercing your lung and a lung collapse so i said well how do you fix that he's like oh we put a chest tube in and we get it all out i'm like mm. and uh a little bit more concerned with the uh, removal of the lymph nodes because i am prone to um to infection i always get infections but we're not going to claim that but anyhow i did ask as a prophylaxis which means preventative measure that they give me antibiotics which you said is a standard of care so they would give me antibiotics during prior to the surgical procedure and during and after so i still think it's in and out but he did say it's i don't know he said it's general so i might have to stay in overnight um i did ask my oncologist if we delay would that mean would that exacerbate my condition where anything could metastasize or travel he said no so i thought an aggressive cancer meant that aggressively goes through your body then they meant more of it spreading throughout the breast which we did see so this is a six centimeter mass originally four centimeters with six centimeter mass and also the lymph node was infected that affected that we think so I think I'm done for today. I'm going to call now the radiology department, try to get my PET scan moved up to Tuesday, tomorrow, so that I can be cleared to get the surgical suite availability on Wednesday at Marstown Memorial if it's available. So keep me in your prayers. I'm still hanging in there. We're still in survivor mode. And I believe that God is already, as I said before, he's already healed my body in the spiritual realm. The physical manifestations have yet to see. We haven't seen it come yet, but I know it's coming. I believe it. I've got to go through some things, and I just got to go through it. It's what God had the path that he has chosen for me to tell you that God is able. So survivor mode. Love you guys.